Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. Let's talk about photo detectors. Why? Well, because they're cool and versatile. They can be used to detect fine particulate matter in the air, like smoke. Or they can be used for proximity sensing. They can even be used to dabble in photoplethysmography. And while none of our products are intended to diagnose or treat any condition in a life-saving situation, it's cool to know that they can do that. So in the interest of upping our cool factor, we're adding a new photo detector to our lineup. Introducing the new SparkFun Quick Photo Detector Breakout. This board uses the Max 30101 from Maxim Integrated. This little sensor uses its built-in red, infrared, and green LEDs to send out light energy in varying wavelengths, the reflection of which is then picked up by the built-in tiny photo detector. Each of the three LEDs can be controlled individually via pulse width modulation. It offers 18-bit ADC resolution, 10.24 MHz sample rate, data rates of up to 3200 samples per second, and a first-in, first-out queue with a 32-element data buffer. Additionally, there's an integrated temperature sensor with a resolution of 0.0625 degrees Celsius, plus an onboard 1.8-volt regulator and 5-volt step-up DC-to-DC converter, four M3-compatible mounting screws, two quick connectors, and six breakout pins. I'm set up here to show you the biometric capability of the Max 30101 because, well, it's cool, but also because it can be touchy and difficult to actually get accurate readings. Now this is because the 30101 is extremely accurate and sensitive. So any movement can screw up the reading, any change in pressure. So we have found the best way to do this is to tape the board down to the table, which I haven't done, and to rubber band your finger to it. Now this board is really designed for engineers who want to dig in deep under the hood, tweak the code, work with the base algorithms to get exactly the readings and accuracy they're looking for in their particular project. If you're looking for an out-of-the-box biometric sensor, honestly, I would probably suggest the Max 30105, which we have on our particle detector breakout. But if you really want to dig in, this is the board for you. Once you start the Python script, it takes a few seconds to lock on, but as you can see here in our heartbeat over time window, it's reading my pulse. Now, there's a lot of slop in here, but you can kind of see a pulse happening. Again, I'm not locked down. I'm probably moving because I'm looking around as I'm talking but you get the idea. I could take the time to adjust the algorithms and really dig into this and make it a lot cleaner, but for demonstration purposes, I wanted to show you what you'll start with. Now, again, if I saw this set up at my doctor's office, I would probably have questions. However, if you really want to start digging into ultrafine particle detection and biometric sensing, pick up a SparkFun Quick Photo Detector Breakout with the Max 30101. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. and biometric measurements, pick up a SparkFun quick photo detector. To dig into the code, tweak the bake, bake? Bake algorithms. However, if you really want to start digging into fine, ultra fine, not just fine, ultra fine. Pick up a Max 301, ah, uh, that's not what it's called. Head over to sparkfun.com and pick up a SparkFun quick photo detector.